Hi, it's Wolf from .com and him and YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. Thanks for watching my video. And this video is about repairing a cuckoo clock. I love cuckoo clocks, they're just fantastic. There's something just spectacular and genius about them. I really love them. Here's an old cuckoo clock that somebody gave me. They found it, I think, at a yard sale or something, and asked me to repair it. And so let's take a quick look at it. See that? That's the gong. On the hour and on the half hour, a little hammer strikes that, and it does a dung. Let's take a quick look at a little couple more things inside. How the cuckoo clock works. And we're gonna actually repair this one. Let me see here. Up top, oh, see the two bellows? Those make the cuckoo sound. Kinda cool. See like that, when that happens, the cuckoo happens. That's one, it's a coop. And then the other one is the coo. The coo, coo. Kinda cool. They're actually two different notes. We'll look at, we'll look at that and I'm gonna actually repair one of those bellows. It's like a blacksmith bellows that makes that sound. And the little box there on the left is a whistle. Uh, and that strikes the gong. There's actually a chime in this, and uh, I'm not going to repair the chime. I'm sorry about that. The, the movement that I have um, doesn't have that extra function, but I'm still, we're still going to get the cuckoo clock to work, although I love that chime. There's actually beer drinkers in the front that just lift up their hands. I can't do those either. But So let's launch into the intro. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, we're back. There's a bunch of things you can do with the cuckoo clock first before you actually replace the gold movement inside there to try to repair it. And I did a whole a lot of things, but I couldn't get the movement to work. I will actually take it out and work on it some more. Like um, using special clock oil to lubricate the different moving parts. There's something you can do called um, changing the beat of the clock. But we're going to replace that gold part there. That's the movement. That does all the stuff. And I'll show you how I do that. So it's really an ingenious little thing. So we take this clock apart, um, I'm going to take out the cuckoos, both of them, and you notice this one's, you know, the longer one there is the deeper note, that's a long whistle box. Love that. Oop. And I just took out the other one, the ooh, and that one's kind of wrecked. You can see how the paper was all kind of wrecked. Here they are working, but I'm actually going to replace that bellows. I have a, I have a new bellows to replace it. And this mechanism is just fascinating. I love this thing. I'm going to actually show you, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you it in slow motion to see all the different functions that happen when the hour goes off or when the half hour goes off. So we take out everything we need to take out and we put in the new movement. Right there, minus the one function for the um, chimes and the beer drinkers. All right, put in the new function. I'm not going to put it all back together yet. I want to test it first. We connect the cuckoo, connect it all up, and I'm going to hang it on the wall, and I'm going to test it, let it run for a little while to make sure everything's good. And then, once I know it's, everything's correct, everything's good, the movement is working, then we're going to finish it off and put it back, all, everything back together. So while that's working, we're going to replace the cuckoo, the, the bellows on the cuckoo. I removed the old one there. See that around where I'm gluing there, that hole? That's the bellow forces the hole in there and it comes out the whistle on the side and that's what makes the cook or the ooh. In the case of this one, it's the ooh. <laughs> I can't get over cuckoo clocks. I actually bought one in the Black Forest in Germany many, many years ago. And I still have it, it still won't run well. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That clock's been running ran well for hours, so we're going to put it all back together and finish it up. We put the, the bellows back in. And if you notice there, there's a little lever on the top of that bellows. If you see it goes horizontal, it's a little wire goes horizontal off that bellows. That actually kicks the cuckoo's tail up to make him, like, uh, tilt forward. <laughs> kind of cool. That way the cuckoo tilts when he comes out of the little cuckoo door. And then we'll try it, see how it works, see if our cookies work. They're not as strong as I want them to be, but I can actually tweak it a little bit. And if you notice, even his little mouth opens when he cookies. It's just an ingenious little mechanism. Now, a quick thing I wanted to say, you adjust the time. The clock could run fast or slow. You adjust the time by moving that little section on the pendulum. You move it up and the clock runs a little faster. So it takes a couple of days to really work it out. Let's take a quick look at the mechanism and we're just about done here. See the different functions? The top there was the cuckoo. That's the little gong. Those are the two bellows. And over there on the right, 
was the um, the chimes. So in twenty in one quarter speed now, chimes go, the cuckoo at the top, the um, the gong, and then the two bellows, and the cuckoo comes back in the house. Um, you know, thanks for watching my videos. This is really interesting. If you have a cuckoo clock, you know, send me a picture of it or take it around with it or something like that. One more time in one tenth speed. So watch the let me see five movements. First is the chimes and the beer drinkers on the right that goes down. Then the cuckoo at the top and the gong. Watch the cuckoo at the top and the gong here and next to us. The gong hit strikes. And then finally the two cuckoo oars here on the, on the left of the levers. They go and they make the cuckoo. And then everything resets. Ready for the next half hour. Thanks for watching my videos. Um, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, you might want to subscribe. I got lots more stuff. I've got lots of stuff already. I got lots more stuff coming. All kinds of interesting things about the world we live in and all these fun, fun things. Here's some more videos you can watch. Upper left is a castle here in New England that I go to and I show you. Upper right is Nefertafel, the ancient board game. On the bottom left is opening up my beehive, and the bottom right is making a ship in a bottle.